Sometimes, nature performs a beautiful surprise. Instead of one heartbeat, there are two. Twins, two babies growing together in the same womb, sharing one incredible journey from conception to birth. But how do twins form? Why do some look exactly alike, while others look completely different? Let's explore the fascinating science behind the creation of twins. Where one story of life becomes two. And the different types of twins, you might not even know exist. Normally, during ovulation, one mature egg is released and travels into the fallopian tube. During sexual intercourse, millions of sperm enters the vagina and begin their journey. Millions of sperm swim toward the egg. And normally only one sperm penetrates the egg's outer layer and fuses with it. The sperm and egg each contribute half the genetic material, forming a zygote. The zygote begins its journey toward the uterus. The zygote divides as it travels to the uterus. It divides again and again. Two cells. Two to four cells. Four to eight cells. Eight to sixteen cells. This process is called cleavage. Around the fifth to seventh day, this tiny structure reaches the uterus and attaches itself to the uterine wall. This process is called implantation. Implantation connect the embryo with the mother's blood supply. Implantation is the true beginning of pregnancy. The placenta begins to form soon after implantation. Placenta is a life support system that connects mother and baby. Umbilical cord connect baby with placenta. Through the umbilical cord, the baby receives oxygen and nutrients, and waste is removed. A thin, transparent, double-layered, membrane will be formed surrounding the developing baby. This is called the amniotic sac. Amniotic sac is filled with amniotic fluid, a warm, clear liquid, that acts like a cushion for the baby. The amniotic fluid protects the baby from shocks, maintains temperature, and allows free movement for muscle and bone development. By the end of the eighth week, the embryo is now called a fetus. All major organs are formed, and now the baby begins to grow rapidly. In the last weeks of pregnancy, the baby positions itself head down and become ready for birth. Twins are two babies born from the same pregnancy. This means a mother carries two offspring at the same time in her womb. Twins develop either from a single fertilized egg that splits into two embryos, called identical twins, or from two separate eggs, each fertilized by different sperms, called fraternal twins. During pregnancy, Twins share the mother's resources, but depending on their type, they may share a placenta or have separate placentas and amniotic sacs. Twins can be of the same sex or different sexes, and they often have a special bond even before birth. Sometimes two separate eggs are released during a single cycle. And each egg is fertilized by a different sperm. That means two unique embryos develop at the same time. Each twin develops independently. With its own placenta and amniotic sac. This type of twins called fraternal twins. It also called dizygotic twins. Because they come from separate eggs and sperms. Fraternal twins are genetically like ordinary siblings, 
sharing about 50% of their DNA. This means they may look completely different, and can even be same sexes or different sexes. Sometimes single fertilized egg, or zygote splits into two embryos, and develops as two separate babies. This type of twins is called identical, or monozygotic twins. Because they come from the same zygote, they share identical DNA. Meaning they usually look very similar. The timing of this split decides how many placentas and sacs the babies will share. This usually happens, within the first two weeks after fertilization. If the embryo splits very early, within one to three days after fertilization, each baby gets its own placenta and own amniotic sac. This is called dichorionic, diamniotic twins, or DIDI twins. If the embryo splits within four to eight days after fertilization, the twins will share one placenta, but each has their own amniotic sac. These are monochorionic, diamniotic twins, or MODI twins. If the embryo splits within 8 to 13 days after fertilization, can lead to both babies sharing the same placenta, and even the same amniotic sac. This is called monochorionic, monoamniotic twins, or M-O-M-O -O twins. This is rare and needs special medical care. If the embryo splits 13 days after fertilization, the division may become incomplete. And the twins remain physically connected. These are called conjoined twins. They can share some organs but have separate personalities and identities. Even though identical twins start with the same DNA, differences in nutrition, hormones, and environment in the womb make each twin slightly unique. With different fingerprints, hair patterns, or even personalities later in life. But that's not all. Nature loves exceptions. Here are some rare and fascinating types of twins you might never have heard of. When identical twins split a little later than usual, that may lead to a special kind of identical twins. Where one is the mirror image of the other they can become mirror image twins. One might have a birthmark on the left cheek, the other on the right. Or even have opposite dominant hands. Sometimes in amazingly rare case, two sperm will be able to successfully fertilize one egg. And then that egg splits into two. And grow as ordinary twins. These types of twins are called semi-identical twins. These twins share only some of their genes. Did you know some factors increase the chances of having twins? Family history, age of the mother, certain fertility treatments, and even diet can play a role. Here's something fun. The highest rate of twins in the world is in Benin, West Africa. About 27 twins per 1,000 births. Here's a cool fact. Even when twins share the DNA, share the placenta, share the amniotic sac, they have their own umbilical cords. Each baby gets its own blood supply from mother.